Oh, Christ. Uh, I'm dead poorly. Um, let's turn this up because I'm going to be all over the room. There we go. How's that? Is that a bit better? Oh, I don't want to be very loud. No, I don't. No. No. No, oh, why don't we turn it up a bit? How about that? How's that? That's all right. Cool. Because I'm going to be all over the place. Actually, let's just boost it all the way. Not all the way, but a lot of the way. Then I don't... Then I'm just recording the room. We're going to shut the door in case I start being loud. We don't want to wake up the baby. At some point, I've got to start, like, recording myself actually playing video games again. So yesterday, I finished Earthbound, and it was really good. Ugh. What's this? I've got to sort through some laundry. I've been told I have to do this. Well, the boss is out. The baby is asleep. <sighs> I want to be asleep. Actually, no. I want to play some Mega Man Legends, because that's now what I've decided what I'm going to be doing now. That's my game to be playing when I'm not recording myself. Well, now you are now. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Just rubbing your face in that. Okay. Oh. But, yeah. Anyway, finished finished Earthbound, and that is a game which knows how to um, get an emotional response out of a player. Yes, it is. Right, that's a blanket that can just be folded up, and that can go somewhere wherever blankets end up going. Right, what else have we got in here? Yes, little Kit Kat. Yeah. And a hug. I'll go do some things. Right, what have we got here? I've got a sock. We've got a big girl top, I want to say. We've got a skirt for school. Yeah. But yeah. So I figured, um, I've already written some thoughts on the RPG Years Discord, if you're interested in that. I tried to be no spoilers. I think like my actual review might... No. I don't know how spoilery I'll be. Because, you know, I do feel mean. I put loads of um, bits on my page on the AOLP Discord, and I'm there being like, oh wait, no, like loads of people didn't want... I don't think what I posted is mostly spoilery. I think it's all fine. It was all fairly innocuous, like bits of silly, silly dialogue that might get missed. Oh, matching socks. Might be the only pair I've got which will match. Oh, for fuck off. Go in the, go, go in the draw. Fucking hell. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. I can't understand why all the games... Oh. All the game of art, games as art, indie, video games. I I think I get why, like, they're all either a cave story or an earthbound. And, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Because, like, earthbound, it, like, it really does, it feels like... It's very weird, because it's technically first or second party, I guess? You know, it's, like... It, 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 like, Ness is in Smash Bros, you know? But, um... But it feels like an indie, with how it draws the player in. Like, it's, it's a fundamentally quite simple, archaic, even at the time, design. And it does clever things with it, and that's good. And, like, quality of life things, which, like are, like, unusual to find nowadays, half the time, you know? So, yeah, but then still be, like, really... 
weird and old fashioned and playing like Dragon Quest. But yeah, a really good game. Never gonna play it again. Cause um a bit too much. A bit exhausting at the end. Like really good. Cathartic. Genuinely like understands the relationship within an RPG setting. I I have whole essays about the relationship between player and characters and that like in many games especially more so now most games are more like um like interactive worlds more than stories that you're interacting with. So So in like a... Oh, so we've got loads of good examples these days. Like in A Breath of the Wild, it presents you a world for you to inhabit. You are a link for all intents and purposes. Like, that's why, like, it really would... It would suck if Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom had motion controls as a primary thing because that would take you out of it. In fact, all the worst bits of those games are the bits which require motion controls. The weird gyro stuff. It's dumb. It's bad. Um, but like immediate button presses are necessary because you're not you're not someone else controlling the character. You are the character's nervous system. And in fact, like the story for those games, like despite the fact that Tears of the Kingdom like presents possibly like some of the best story moments in a Zelda ever, they're not that important in comparison to giving you a world to explore and a life to inhabit. Anyway, back to my point. Um, within, like, a standard JRPG, it is more about the story normally, and it's about you trying to... You, as the player, are someone who is assisting the characters. In fact, like, you, you don't have... You don't necessarily have the agency that your characters have. Like, more character-based stuff, your Final Fantasies, your Grand Quest, etc. Like, it's not you doing it. It's your characters doing it. It's better if you think of them as you. But you are helping them. And I think it really gets it. I think I didn't spoil anything there. But I think that's fundamentally, like, a really good thing. And, like, there's some quite, like... There's moments which feel like ruminations upon, like, the nature of a player character and... Like, when the world turns off, is the world saved? Does it go worse? What happens when you turn off the console? Which is an interesting thought. And, like, at least one of the Dot Hack games, not even not even the case, I think it might have been one of the animes, like, dwelt on that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, baby's awake. That makes sense. Whole half an hour. <laughs> Are you gonna go back to sleep? Was I being too loud? <sighs> back to it. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye.